My name is Matt Ireland and I coach the high school VEX Robotics team here at Legacy. So VEX Robotics is an amazing program that um, encompasses all sorts of different skills from students, from teamwork to programming to building an actual physical robot and driving the robot. And uh, it's a very time consuming, but it is truly an amazing program. So a big expectation is time. Most of the students who participate in VEX, it is definitely their passion and they put hours and hours and hours into it and it is, it's almost necessary to be successful. Hello, my name is Murad Malik. I'm in ninth grade and I am on the Legacy Robotics team 393A. For me, I would say it's just the iteration. Like you could have one robot and then like two months later, you're like, this robot is not gonna work well, so you have to redo it and it kind of sounds tedious, and it is, but like I would say the kind of learning and changing and just rebuilding, recoding, rewriting, all of that, I would say is the most fun part for me. Hi, my name is Amisha. I'm an 11th grader and I'm on Team 393A. Um, the most fun part about this program is definitely the people, like even more than just robotics, spending so much time with people that enjoy the same things as you and are just as passionate as you is really enjoyable and they're all super fun. We have a good time because we spend long hours in the robotics room and going to competitions, so it's really nice to get close to people that love the same things as you. Hi, my name is Neha. I'm a sophomore and I'm part of Legacy Robotics 393D. Um, I think the best part is the camaraderie. I think we have a lot of fun having each other. The teams are kind of designed to where we all build off of each other's strengths and weaknesses. That kind of makes us better as a person. Um, but at the same time, we have a lot of fun um, and then we enjoy the process. Hi, I'm Mrs. Chung and I am the middle school robotics coach. So middle school robotics is a team competition where we compete against other schools throughout the season. And it's based on the new challenge for the year and students create a bot for that new challenge. The expectations are students need to work well with others as it is a team sport or team environment. So I expect students to be able to be a team player. Also, there is a time commitment where we meet for eighth period after school till 345, but it does require some extended practices, especially during competition season. Hello, my name is Aziz Rangwala and I'm in eighth grade on middle school robotics on team 390Y. I think that the most fun part about robotics is the journey and the process because throughout the whole experience of robotics, you gain so much knowledge with your teammates and you build so much connection and you can just really measure your growth throughout the whole season. Hi, my name is Liv Kong. I'm in eighth grade. I'm in middle school robotics and I'm on team 393Y. So robotics covers so many diverse fields and industries, whether it's building or notebooking or even scouting other teams or even just being part of the team in general. Um, it's, it's very comprehensive and really encourages such a unique learning environment. In terms of competition experience, local competitions, um, even states championships and definitely world championships have such a unique experience because you get to take the robot that you've developed throughout the entire season. Um, you get to take that and your teammates that you've grown with to these competitions and really just make memories. All right, hi, I'm Mrs. Johnson. I am the coach for the high school academic decathlon team. Uh, and a lot of people wonder what academic decathlon is. Uh, and what it is, is it's a team and individuals who compete in 10 different academic areas. So it really takes a very well-rounded student um, in order to be successful in decathlon. But what's great about it is that it's not just the kids with 4.0s. We need a whole variety of GPAs in order to have a successful team. So as a member of the academic decathlon team, it's expected both that you're able to work well as an individual, but also that you're able to work well as a team. Uh, my name is Caleb and I participate in zero period academic decathlon. Uh, I think the most fun part of the program is the teamwork involved because you, you are in teams of three and other people and you as a team have to compete against other schools, other teams. Okay, hello, um, I go by Abby and I'm a junior here at LMA. I think what's really amazing is that I get to learn a bunch of new things each day every time I open up what I need to study for because we have a bunch of subjects to learn for. We also have a speech and interview part of Academic Decathlon and it's really cool to be able to implement school skills that we are implementing here at LMA such as like 
communications that you might learn in freshman year and we're applying it now still to our speeches. We get to be better at interviews by competing in there. Hi guys, uh, my name is Mrs. Bruley. I am a core teacher at Legacy and I am also the academic pentathlon coach. Academic pentathlon is an academic competition. It's a group of teams. We have six, seventh and eighth grade teams that compete all against Orange County schools. We have a lot of fun practicing. We play bluckets, we play quizlets, we get a curriculum, we study a lot, and we ultimately go to a big competition at the end of the year where we play as individuals in specific subject matters. And then we also do a big game called Super Quiz in front of a live audience very similar to like Jeopardy. Members of the program need to be dedicated. They have to be scholarly, um, willing to put in extra time, study, research, um, show up to practice daily, uh, every day when we have practice, be on time, um, especially for teams and arranging teams. Every point that you gain, you contribute to our school's team score. So participation, willingness to learn new things, um, being okay with difficulty, Hi, my name is Chayvin and I'm part of the pentathlon. I think like when we work together it's like really fun because when we take tests like you might know some things that other people might not know. It's like really fun. I'm Alexander Ota and I'm also part of academic pentathlon. Academic pentathlon is really fun because you get to learn new things from all throughout American history and then you get to learn new things about math, science. This can really help us like for the rest of school. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Bruley. I am a teacher at Legacy and one of the things that I run is the Comedy Sports High School League. It's a team of improv students. We work together to play games, have fun, and compete against other schools in our amazing improv skills. So some of the things we do in our program. We have workshops and during these workshops we learn how to speak in front of the public, how to collaborate and build on each other's ideas. We work on our creativity and we do this with a professional actor. This happens four times a year. On top of that, we have rehearsals at lunch practice. It ends up being a lot of fun. We eat, we play games, um, and we hang out. Then we also do matches. During the comedy sports matches, we play either another school or another group of students versus teachers, something like that for entertainment. And we are working to get your laughs. So our job is to make you laugh. Um, and we do this through a series of games and there is a referee. Sometimes it's me, sometimes I call in a professional actor to be our host and um, it's a lot of fun. It's great for getting comfortable in front of a group. It's really good for team leadership and being willing to put yourself out there and thinking quick on your feet. The expectations for members of the program is to be consistent, to be willing to try new things and to be able to laugh and be silly with us. You have to commit yourself. Once you sign up, you're signed up. We sign you up and register you with a team. We have our acting coaches come. So there are some requirements. Um, you have to be dedicated to it. And then we do rehearsals throughout the year for our math. Hi, my name is Kevin Murray and I am the leader of the comedy sports team. I'd say working with um, a lot of other people because they've never done this before. So everybody brings their own ideas to the table and that's like really fun to like bounce ideas off of other people. So yeah. And my name is Kai Gottesloe and I am part of the comedy sports league. Yeah, it was like similar to what Cameron said, like making lots of new friends because we're not all from the same grade and it's interesting to get to know more people outside of my grade. Hi, I'm Ms. Fluger and I am the advisor for Yearbook. As you can probably tell, um, we design your school yearbook every year. Um, it's a student-run program, so students get the direct input on the design, the layout, how it looks. Um, it's really just kind of you capturing your year for the entire school. A lot of it is, is a need-based, so if there are events going on at lunchtime, we have kids that sign up to document it or plays or any kind of extracurricular activity. So the expectation really is to be present for an event, be able to upload and edit and make sure that all the photos are organized so it's not always a whole bunch of work every day, it's just as needed. Hi, my name is Leslie Tawagon and I'm in ninth grade. I think the best part of this program is that we get to use our creativity and input it into something the whole school can see. Uh, hi, my name is Kayla Chen and I'm in 11th grade. 
you get to be creative and work with a lot of people. And it's kind of like you're making a part of history within the school year. Uh, my name is Christian Chang. I'm the head photographer of yearbook. I would say the most fun part about yearbook is just the ability to kind of really embrace your creativity and track the year as the year goes on. I think that's definitely a big aspect of it. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ezekiel. I am a U.S. history and government teacher here at LMA, and I am also the advisor for the Business Negotiation Program, which next year is going to be known as FBLA Leadership. Um, FBLA stands for Future Business Leaders of America, and so our program's goal is to help students become future business leaders. So during the zero period class, we'll be doing a lot of negotiation, debate, um, different kinds of business presentations, um, interviews and discussions. Um, students will be pitching different things in the class. We play some games. Um, and the goals of the program our whole are to get students able and ready to compete at our FBLA sectional competition and also to host a student business leadership summit here at LMA. So students and members of the program need to be self-motivated, should be eager to show up in the morning for the class, like you like negotiating and debating and talking to each other, that you want to put yourself outside your comfort zone maybe a little bit and challenge yourself to do more in public speaking and negotiation. Maybe you have a desire for competition and to practice leadership application in kind of a business lens. Hi, I'm Malcolm Jones and I'm in the Education Committee of FBLA. The best and most fun part of this program is definitely the learning of business and negotiating and uh, what life is like in the future. I've learned a lot of business. I've learned how to buy stocks, how to present, and how to debate against others. So I, I believe that business negotiation in FBLA is helping me a lot with understanding business and everything. Hi, my name is Rubina Gar, and I'm the co-president of FBLA. FBLA. Not only do you learn a lot of helpful skills like public speaking, persuading, and pitching, but collaborating with your friends is probably the most fun part because when you collaborate with your friends and your peers, you get to just like bounce ideas off of each other and kind of put all the bad ideas out first. But after collaborating, you just get to the really good ideas and you can make your project so much better. And it's really fun because at the end of the day, when you present your project, you just feel really good with your team members that you like completed it very nicely and it's like perfection. My name is Matthew Shea and I'm the co-president of FBLA. I think the best part about the program is that it's just an opportunity to express yourself, especially during the competitions. That moment where it's nerve wracking at the end, where you find out about if you won or not after you put in so many hours in trying to win, that entire experience is one that you kind of live for. It's just one that I always love. I'm Mrs. Murphy and I am one of the ASB advisors. I'm Mrs. Isaacs and I'm a co-advisor as well. And um, a little bit about ASB is it's our student leadership program on campus um, and we run our ASB like a business. So we have six departments. It is our Chief Executive Officer Department. We have our Chief Financial Officer Department. We have our Chief Marketing Officer Department. We have our Chief Compliance Officer Department. We have our Chief Technology Department, as well as our Chief Operations Department. And um, each department is run by an executive, and each department has um, directors and managers that help plan all of our school events and help support students. Uh, one of the big things about ASB is that we really help make a really good school culture here. And so it's a real world transfer for all the things you're learning in the classroom and really getting to apply to our school. So if you wanna help make the school a better place, ASB is a place for you. Um, well, we expect all of our students to be able to balance their um, academic with their ASB responsibilities responsibilities with any outside school responsibilities. We also expect them to be the leaders on campus that show rise wherever they go. Especially in the community, we host events not only for the students on this campus, but we host events for our community. So we really want to make sure that our students are representing Tide, Rise, and being the best that they can be. Hi, I'm Megan Quatch. I'm an 8th grader and I'm the Activities Manager in ASB. The best part about ASB is being able to collaborate with many different people from every grade and also being able to do opportunities that you wouldn't be able to do if you weren't in ASB. My name is Catcher Welch, I'm in 10th grade and I'm ASB COO. I think the most fun part about ASB would be putting on the events and just like running around during the events doing random things. 
Hi, my name is Nina Ryan. I'm in 11th grade and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of ASB. The most fun part about this program is the creativity that you can have. I'm like in social media, so like just now I came from filming a TikTok and we kind of have not free reign, but we do have a lot of control over the content that we're making. And it's a lot of fun seeing the creativity that people have. The students have control over the activities they're planning and the things that they're doing. Hi, my name is Mrs. Blair and I am the advisor, instructor for LMA Performing Arts Company's Dramatic Production course. This is a CTE pathway course, so if you are a high school student and you complete two years, you're also completing a CTE pathway for arts, media, entertainment, performing arts. Middle school students can also take the class, but they will not, uh, those classes will not count towards the CTE pathway. In this class, we discuss and learn about the elements of a dramatic production from the technical side to the performing side. Everyone in there has their hands in all different types of things. It's a lot of fun and we're kind of like a big family. The expectations for the members of the program is we really want people that are up for learning lots of different things. So we want actors, dancers, performers, but we don't want our actors, dancers, and performers to just be limited to that. We want them to learn about painting sets and making programs. You need to be positive and have a good attitude. That's really important. So having good character is something that we're looking for. Hi, my name is Karen Murray and I am a part of the Assistant Stage Manager team. I think the best part about this program is getting to collaborate with people that haven't done this before because everybody brings their own ideas to the table and it's like really fun. Hi, my name is Aya Hanai and I'm in 8th grade. The best part about this program is just getting to like be with people that share the same passion as you and get to learn like so many new aspects of like theater and like tech and also just being in shows and doing what I love to do. Hello, I'm Hannah Spicer, and I'm in ninth grade at Legacy Magnet Academy. I'd say performing on stage with friends, like rehearsals, it kind of becomes a little family. Once you spend that much time together backstage, it's a nice little home to be. Hello, I am Mr. Licardo. And I'm Mr. Fallon. And we will be running the Business of Gaming class and club that will be starting up next year. So we're excited to tell you more about it. The program as a whole, the class will be zero period and will be focused on the business aspect of gaming, whereas the club will be more of the play, where you get to play games, playing video games, but it will all be connected to where the business and the gaming comes together into events that we will play and host ourselves. So we're hoping that you have a good amount of experience with gaming, which is gonna then be incorporated in our club aspect of the gaming side. But then we're also really encouraging for those students that are interested in aspects of business. Here at LMA, obviously we wanna focus on business. And so if you have any interest or any skill in content creating, journalism, event planning, streaming, commentary, marketing, we really encourage you to be part of our, our zero period class for the business of gaming and then also be part of the gaming club so that you can get all those aspects of what we offer here at LMA in business with the focus of gaming. The club is going to be mainly focused on the gaming side and then the zero period class is going to be focused on the business side of it. The club will offer after school and that we're expecting the students of the class to at least attend the club one day a week after school. While they're there that's where they'll get to play games or record footage if they need for a video. So since we are going to be planning our own events, students will actually get a lot of choice in what games are hosted in those events. There are some that we promise that will be available. Students will get to play, get to learn. Some of those include Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Street Fighter, some card games. We are going into the sports games, Rocket League, FIFA, all those different sports, Minecraft, big eSport games like League of Legends will be there. That's a rough game list for now, but we want to bring in plenty more games and also just whatever games the club members or the class members are interested in, we want to work in those as well. We'll end up trying to gear it around the interest of the students. So with all the games that Mr. Locago mentioned, we want to also emphasize the games that they want to play. So if there's any games that kids want to play that we haven't mentioned, as long as we get permission from the school and district, we would be happy to include that into our list as well.